Hello boys and girls, this is a little um, thought experiment that I've devised in a vain hope to maybe make some anti-capitalists realize the true absurdities of their claims. Yeah, we all know that's not going to happen, but hey, what can I say? I dare to dream. Anyways, Coke and Pepsi, the eternal coal arrivals, will be used as my little test dummies for this thought experiment, for no really good reason at all. The claim I really want to address is that free markets promote corruption and state intervention is the cure to this corruption, and if you still allow some free market players, you get the best of both worlds. Okay, well I don't want to spoil the ending, but I intend to demonstrate that this is a notion that only makes sense on Bizarro World. So, let's start with a completely free market with regards to the coal industry. Coke and Pepsi are the two biggest players, and the state doesn't intervene at all. They're free to run their business however they want, as long as they're not burning each other's factories down or anything crazy like that. So what would happen if, say, Coke got the bright idea to start watering down their drink, to half its previous strength to boost the oil profits? Did they just simply double their money? Is it really that easy? I'll give you a hint. If it really were that easy, it would beg the question of why everyone wasn't doing it, wouldn't it? But, let's say they went ahead with it. As a customer, do you want the taste of your drink to be weaker? No? So if you typically drank Coke, but then one day found it to be strangely bland all of a sudden, what would you do in response? If you said switch to Pepsi, you'd probably be in good company. This is why not everyone simply cuts corners this way all the time because they work under the threat of their competitors taking advantage of their lapse of ethics and stealing their customers. Think about it. Pepsi would love nothing better than to rat out Coke for their little transgression and look like heroes. This perpetual state of having to one-up each other is what keeps Pepsi and Coke playing as fair as possible and always seeking ways to improve their product. This is why corruption actually makes you less competitive in a free market, because there's too much at risk should you be exposed. But now let's test the idea that government takeover can improve an industry. Let's say after much lobbying and bribing, uh, I mean making very generous campaign donations, Coke is taken over by the local government. So through the funding of the ever so generous taxpayer, Coke is now available for all. Hooray! And the best part is, if you don't happen to like Coke, there's still good old Pepsi. Joy and happiness all around. Right? Right? Well, not so fast. First of all, everyone has to pay for Coke since it's paid for through taxation. If you want Coke, you pay for Coke. If you want Pepsi, you have to pay for Coke and Pepsi. If you don't drink cola at all, you still have to pay for Coke. You tell me, can this really be seriously considered a free and fair choice? Not only that, think about the position Coke is in now. Their profits are completely guaranteed regardless of their performance. Now if they were to water down their product, they would effectively double their money because everyone has to pay for it regardless. Or heck, why stop there? Make the cans smaller, use cheaper ingredients, do the absolute bare minimum on quality control. All those savings go directly to Coke's pockets with absolutely no threat of losing customers to Pepsi or anybody else. The state might try to curb this behavior with regulations, but all this works to do is further cripple Pepsi, who must abide by them and eat the cost of doing so, while Coke continues to enjoy its guaranteed profits. Worse yet, let's say I wanted to start my own line of Hakola. I would have to bear the cost of abiding by these same regulations, which would be a very daunting task for a small entrepreneur who lacks the startup capital to do so. Thus, regulations only further only further cement Coke's monopoly. Statists have sworn to me up and down that government takeover of an industry reduces corruption, yet as this example clearly shows, the truth is quite the opposite. By allowing an industry to extract funds from the public through government force rather than having to prove its worth to the public as a private firm would, the now socialized firm has every incentive in the world to cut costs, take shortcuts, and even deny service whenever possible pocketing all the savings and facing minimal risk for their corruption. This is just yet another example of why you cannot solve problems using violence. Until next time, be aware and be wise.